This farm is where my dad grew up, lived here since 1930. We've been farming in a partnership and arrangement with my dad and my brother Lester Miller since 1983. We raise turkeys on contract, run beef cows, and wheat, corn, soybeans, and hay. We had started working with the Conservation District in Adams County here back in, I think it was 89. There's a couple different ways that agriculture throughout this area can impact the bay. Uh, again, it comes down to usually, usually nutrients or sediment in the water uh, that gets carried completely downstream until it outlets into the bay. Our work through this area usually involves keeping the soil on the farm, keeping the water clean, and as much as we can, keeping the streams functioning that the, way, the way that they should. In Pennsylvania, nearly 16,000 miles of streams do not meet water quality standards. Of that value, over 5,000 are actually influenced by agricultural activities. And when you look at what's going on in the Chesapeake Bay, particularly Pennsylvania's influence on the Chesapeake Bay, the pollution we send to the Chesapeake Bay, we are the number one source of nitrogen, the most deleterious and damaging pollutant to the Chesapeake Bay out of all the Bay States. And agriculture makes up approximately 60% or more of that pollution. And we are number two in phosphorus and sediment delivery to the Chesapeake Bay watershed. So we are a significant source of that, that, that degrading of the Bay that occurs both in the past and even today. Currently, we're working with the, with the Adams County Soil Conservation District on a roof project that would cover the barnyard there, which is open presently. Yeah, I think it'll work better straight in line with the structure. Okay. We very much work with the farmers and the landowners because it doesn't make sense for us to come in and say, okay, here's what you need, just go build it. It has to work for them as well. It has to be something that fits in with how they move the cattle, how their equipment comes in and out for cleaning it off, things like that. So. It's really a, a, a collaboration between us and them to end up with something that protects some environmental resources but also works for them on a daily basis. The rainwater that's falling outside of the barnyard typically isn't a hazard to the bay at all. It's when it gets mixed in with high levels of manure and things like that or sediment that it becomes more of an issue for the bay water system. Uh, so what we're trying to do by putting a roof over something like this is actually just to keep that rainwater from ever coming into contact with the things that would cause a problem, nutrients or sediment, for the bay. Um, it also is going to give them more space for their cattle so the manure buildup won't be confined to such a small area. It will stay drier longer, so it'll be easier to stack, to manage, to spread on their fields and things like that. To keep the the nutrients from the barnyard and also from and also the soil and nutrients from the fields out of the stream, we fenced out the stream corridor and planted trees there. The fencing allows for the cattle to be excluded, keeping them out of the stream, allowing the stream banks to be stabilized. We plant the trees um, because trees have um, proven to take up more of the nutrients. The trees will also provide a canopy cover, which helps to maintain or lower the stream water temperature, which is good for aquatic life. A riparian forested buffer also benefits the operator by excluding the cattle and providing a clean water source. You have less health issues. You see results from that almost immediately. The millers are very aware of the benefits of the practices they've installed to the environment as well as to themselves and they've taken advantage of the projects that are available and the financial resources that are afforded them. The funding for this program comes through the USDA Farm Bill through the Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program. For the first time ever the, the Farm Bill established a, a separate program that was geographically specific for the Chesapeake Bay watershed a restoration initiative explicit to reducing the amount of agricultural runoff and pollution throughout the entire Chesapeake Bay watershed. That is a huge, if not the most significant victory that the Chesapeake Bay has had on a federal level. Now that's up to us, the state, to continue with our heritage of providing the support for agriculture 
and restoring that support for agriculture if we are ever going to achieve the nutrient reductions that we wish to see not only in our own backyard, but in the Chesapeake Bay. We have to address the urban stormwater runoff issue. We have to address the point source nutrient issue. We cannot ignore those and just focus in on the biggest source, because even if we, get, if we address the biggest source, we're still sending too much pollution to the Chesapeake Bay and it will still be impaired. Everybody who lives in the Chesapeake Bay watershed contributes to the Chesapeake Bay watershed, whether they like to admit it or not. Everything they do is going to have an effect downstream. So it's sort of unrealistic to just section out one particular part of the community and say they're the only ones responsible. Uh, it's not fair, it's not accurate, and it's really not going to solve the problem anyway. It's really good to install at least one best management practice, but the millers have installed quite a number. Um, some of them are focused on reducing the amount of erosion and maintaining good quality soil so that their crops have good yields. Um, other practices they've installed have been focused on good water quality. And having an all-inclusive set of BMPs like that does wonders for an operation as well as the environment. If you show an interest in these types of things, they, they do work well with you. And as far as a combination of goals that we wanted to achieve. One is to be able to control the, the water, control the erosion, and increase yields as far as crop production. But I think all together they have benefited us, I'd say, tremendously.